Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for tuning in once again. So a lot of you have been asking me what I've been using on my skin and I know that I've been kind of secretive about it because I've been going through a lot of skin changes and my skin is really, really sensitive and I've been developing a lot of dermatitis lately. It's been really red. Aww. Typically I go through phases with my skin where it gets really inflamed and it gets really red and I get a lot of under the skin bumps and um, then I have to kind of heal it. And I feel like I have um, really understood how to heal my skin better and better each time. And this time I actually didn't have some of my products at home because I was at my parents' house and I still am. And so I had to find a different approach and I think this is the best approach I found yet. So I kind of wanted to share with you what I'm doing and what I'm not doing that is really, really helping my skin. So without further ado, let's get into the video. Let's get into this mask. Can you believe this thing is, I think $450 or something like that? Wanted to kind of return it because it's so expensive. But um, I did buy it and I want to talk to you about the mask and then I want to talk to you about all the other things that I've been doing to help my skin. All right, so I've zoomed you in. As you can see for this video, I'm completely makeup free. I have nothing on my skin. And I'm actually holding, um, or not holding, but I have this massive bowl of water because what I'm gonna do for you today is I'm actually gonna take you through my skincare routine as well. Now as a disclaimer, my skin is very, very sensitive, quite dry. Uh, so my routine might be considered boring to some of you who like products that are more sensorial, they have more of a scent. Um, it is pretty cut and dry, it's much more clinically based. So um, I just wanted to give that disclaimer. It's not like, I guess, an aesthetically appealing routine by some standards, but it's what really works for me. So my skin's very sensitive, like I said, very dry. Um, it's the kind of skin that if I rub it too much with water, it will get red. So if that's you, then I feel like what I am going to be putting out today might really help you. Before I get into it, none of this video is sponsored. None of this has been gifted. This is just what has been working for me. But essentially what happens to me is I get all these under the skin bumps. They almost look like congestion. So I feel like um, oftentimes I've been given the wrong information where people are like, oh, you need to exfoliate, which is what I was thinking too, because when you get a lot of under the skin pimples, that makes you think that you're not exfoliating enough. So what I would usually do was I would up my retinol usage. I even invested in Curology for a little bit. Um, I was upping exfoliation because I really wanted to exfoliate the skin. But I wanted to tell you that sometimes those under the skin bumps can be due to just an inflamed skin barrier. So our skin is strong and healthy when its skin barrier, its pH is in balance. And if that balance is thrown off because you've irritated your skin, it can actually start reacting not in the typical redness and sensitivity, but it can also just develop a lot of under the skin bumps. So if you've developed under the skin bumps all of a sudden, sometimes it's not because your pores are clogged, but rather that you've been too aggressive with your skin and you need to take a step back to get it to a really happy level. It can be due to using fragrance, a really strong exfoliant or any kind of ingredient that has sensitized your skin. And eventually you'll be able to tell because your skin will sting no matter what you put on it, which is what was happening to me is I would get these bumps, I would over exfoliate and then my skin would get red. I'd get red patches on it. It would sting and it was really, really uncomfortable. So what I've been doing to help it. So the recent product that I picked up, I picked this guy about two months ago. This is the Dr. Dennis Gross LED facial mask. So LED light therapy has been really popular. Um, a lot of celebrities, Chrissy Teigen, Jessica Alba, they get it done. It's an expensive treatment. You would go and get done at a spa or a dermatologist's office. It's not like laser treatment. The LED light penetrates deeper into the layers of the skin, but there's no downtime, meaning you don't have to leave and um, take extra good care of your skin because it will be raw or red. This is something that you can do often, although it's very expensive. LED light was first discovered, I think 30 years ago by astronauts who discovered that it helped with um, scarred tissue. And there are different kinds of LED light that help with different things. So infrared light, really helps with wrinkles and aging and it helps kickstart your collagen production. And then blue light 
really helps um, completely sterilize and kill the bacteria on your face, which is why it's really, really great for acneic skin. So you can either do the red light, the blue light, or um, a combination of the two, which is what I've been doing. You only need to use it for about two minutes. Now it is really expensive, but I figured when you compare that one of these treatments alone at a spa is on the $300 scale, and this is around $400 for the mask, I figured it was worth it because in order to see the results, you need to be using the mask every day. However, if I were to continue seeing results without the mask, I'd have to make maybe monthly appointments. And so in the end, monetarily, it worked out to use these masks. Now, a word of warning, there are a lot of these masks on Amazon. Um, they are not FDA approved, a lot of them. So I purchased this one because it is FDA approved. It is less strong than the treatments that you'd be getting at a spa, but it also means that it's safe. Will you see results? Absolutely. You just have to keep continuing the use. It's something that you would use every day as part of your routine. But I like that it's FDA approved. It makes me feel good about it. I don't feel like I'm going to be harming my skin. I pop it on. It makes me feel like a transformer. And then I hit this button right here and um, I hit the combo button. So it's blasting me with red and blue light. And then I literally just wait for a minute and the mask will auto shut off when it has finished. And I actually don't experience any sensitivity in the eye area. I'm still able to open my eyes and do everything like I normally would. Although some people are, so my mom was more sensitive, so she would just lie back and close her eyes when she was using this. And I really feel like it's made the biggest difference in my skin tone. I don't think it's really helped with inflammation like the dermatitis, but it helped with my skin tone. My overall skin tone was better over different videos. When I would get like an under the skin cystic acne around my period, I would pop on the blue light and it was wild because it would actually start to deflate before it sprung to the surface, which never happens for me. So I feel like if you're acneic, it would definitely be a good investment just because while a lot of different topical products can work differently for different people, I feel like there has been significant amount of research over the last 30 years, peer-reviewed articles that suggest that this can work across a lot of different skin types. So think about it. I'm not telling you to get it, but I'm also not telling you to not get it. Kind of think about what your concerns are and if it would be worth your money. I'm going to get into my routine. So when I have makeup on, I go in with the Clinique Take the Day Off Balm. This is a cleansing balm. It is fragrance free and I just use it all over the face. It works so well to take everything off. Next thing I like to go in with is this Guidance to Glow Gentle Face Wash. This is from my own esthetician, Fenya. She is absolutely amazing. She has her own YouTube channel and I'm gonna link her info down below, but she has her own line of products. Um, Jackie Ina uses them, Tenny Pelosian uses them. They're just really, really, really good ingredients. High, high efficacy of ingredients. But her cleanser is really amazing because it has hyaluronic acid in it, which is a plumping humectant. Hyaluronic acid plumps the skin. It helps um, against trans epidermal water loss, which means it helps your skin hold its own water and stay hydrated. But it also is vegan, paraben free and chemical free, and it has no fragrance. It's so gentle. I can even rub it all over my eyes. If you had like lashes, you could even rub it in between your false lashes and it does not, it doesn't sting the eye. So it's really, really great. So I'm gonna go in with this and I have my bowl of water here. I feel so dangerous. Okay, I'm gonna take a little bit in my hand and I'm gonna add a little bit of water and I'm gonna rub my hands together to activate the cleanser. For me, it's really important to use something that is fragrance free. So now the cleanser's been activated, it's getting a little foamy. I'm gonna start rubbing it on my face. Okay, and then I just pat my face with a clean towel and I kind of leave it slightly damp 
because it really helps the next product absorb. So the next product is from Hymed. This is their Pure Hyaluronic Acid Serum. Absolutely no fragrance whatsoever. It's a clear product like this. Kind of looks like a gel. And I start rubbing that into the skin as still damp. I even take this under the eyes and over the eyes because it's literally just pure hyaluronic acid. It's different molecular weights of hyaluronic acid. Um, it's plant derived. And this line, Hymed, was developed by plastic surgeons. It's just a very boring but very effective very clean, very science-based line, and it's been working so beautifully for my skin. I feel a huge difference right after I apply this serum. I know there are a lot of hyaluronic acid serums on the market, but usually they're mixed in with other products, or there's the Barbara Strum one, which is Sturm or Strum. It's so expensive. I'm probably never gonna buy that one. So this is a great alternative. So now my skin feels super duper plump, and now I'm going to go in with my moisturizer. So I have different choices um, for you. Oh no! All right, so now my skin feels super duper plump. And then I usually go in with my vitamin C. I use this um, morning and night. This is Bioactive Beyond Complex C Vitamin C. This is a L ascorbic acid, which is a pretty intense type of vitamin C, but it's formulated in a really stable way, again, by the company um, HiMed, which I really like. This is more of an oil-based vitamin C, and when I was starting to heal my skin, I did not use vitamin C because vitamin C is still technically kind of exfoliating in its own way, and it, it has a really low pH, and so it's something that is an active ingredient, Hyaluronic acid isn't really an active in the sense that it's not exfoliating your skin or messing with its pH, it's just hydrating it. So, you know, vitamin C, retinols, and any kind of acids that are exfoliating are actives. And so I avoided this for the first three weeks, but now I've added it back in and it's not um, messing with my skin at all. So this feels also really, really nice. It's been helping even out my skin tone. It makes my skin feel really good without makeup. And next I go in with a uh, fragrance-free moisturizer. Are you guys seeing a trend here? Um, this is the Jordan Samuel Skin Performance Cream. This is a cream with squalane, probiotics, aloe, and it's just a really lovely lightweight cream. When my skin's feeling drier, I actually take the original Reconstructive Cream by Hymed. This is a very rich, but it's like rich, but it's also lightweight because it's not heavy and oil-based but it's a very rich water-based cream and I really, really like it. So I usually use this day and night. I actually feel like combo skin and normal skin would like this. Um, even oily skin, I don't know, it says it's rich, but it doesn't feel like a heavy um, oil-based cream, so. All right, and now I'm gonna go in with my eye cream. This is the Alginist Complex Eye Renewal Balm. It has some really fantastic ingredients in here, and it's very lightweight, um, but very hydrating at the same time. So I really, really like it. And I really pack it on. I go all around, around the lid as well. Um, I take it in my smile lines as well, and my little um, expression line right there. I tend to pack on my eye cream. That definitely doesn't work for everyone. Some people just need a rice grain amount. I just really like packing it on. Technically, you're supposed to use a rice grain amount, and I know that. Please don't come at me in the comments. I just, I haven't noticed any adverse effects or puffiness from doing it this way, and I just really like doing it this way, so hope you understand. All right, next, I have the Dr. Jart Dermaclear Micro Milk Peel. 
I don't use this every day. It says you can. It's really, really gentle. Milk peels are a really big thing in Korea. And my skin loves lactic acid. And this is like a lactic acid treatment. You just shake it up and you put it on a cotton pad and you leave it on your skin for about a minute. And then you just wash it off with water. It's really, really, really gentle. And so that is the only method of exfoliation that I have at the moment. And I use it twice a week. And then I like to take, all right, this is the second most bougie, like expensive thing in my routine. This is a sample of the St. Jane CBD serum. This really, really helped my skin. I feel like everything that I was using here maintained my skin and didn't inflame my skin. Um, I would say that this product right here, the reconstructive cream plus this product, really helped heal my skin. Um, CBD has really great anti-inflammatory um, properties. It's used for skin that has eczema, skin that has psoriasis, skin that has rosacea. It's been really, really great for that. It's rich in omega oils and fatty acids, and it really helps with anti-aging as well and collagen production. But this is really amazing. Um, I ordered a full size, it's, it's coming. Uh, it's quite expensive, but I only use a couple of drops. So I feel like the full size will last me a year. I literally just take two drops and then I rub it in between my fingers and the smell is incredible. I know that's not why you should buy products but this has like natural scents in it and it hasn't irritated my skin at all. If anything, when I get a little patch of redness or anything that stings, I literally put this on and see a difference immediately and over time. I feel like if I get any redness on my skin, I literally just pop this on and in 10 minutes it's gone. I use this morning and night and I literally just press it into the skin and it gives my skin such a radiant glow. And it's just one of those products that feels good. And then the most important step of my routine is sunscreen. I use a zinc sunscreen, a 100% mineral lotion because um, that is actually the least sensitizing kind of sunscreen that there is, meaning it's 100% zinc based and it doesn't have other kinds of chemical sunscreens in there. This is by Supergoop. It's a highly recommended brand by a lot of dermatologists. And I really like this. It's slightly tinted and it gives me a radiance, but I absolutely love it. And um, yeah, I wear this every day, regardless as to whether I'm inside or not, because as you know, sunscreen can also help protect us from blue light coming from our screens, which we just don't want. See, my skin is looking pretty even. That texture at the top was gone. Excuse the flakes, that's some sunscreen, but in general, I'm really happy with it. And even though I have a little bit of dotting that you see there, that's my keratosis pilaris, it is a lot more hydrated and smooth. So that is my skincare routine. I hope this was helpful to you. Obviously, it's important that you take the advice with a grain of salt because everybody has different skin. That being said, I think that I have a really strong routine and it's based in clinical science. It's all fact-based. I will drop some of the people that I love to go to for skin advice. But um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed my skincare routine. Please let me know if you have any questions in the comments and let me know what you'd like to see from me next. All right, you guys, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye!